So Chuck, we've talked about holes before, I like have black holes probably, and things. Yeah. Oh yeah. But a hole in three dimensions, like a black hole, right? You can fall into it from any, any direction. Isn't that a weird thought? I love it. So it's a hole in space. It's a hole in space. Right. So uh, holes have interesting properties. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for example, here's a here's just a some card stock here. Right. And eight and a half by eleven. Right? Okay. Inches, people. I can cut a hole in this. Okay. But I can do it such that the hole is big enough for you to walk through. So this is a Doctor Who hole. <laughs> Okay, okay, so it's eight and a half by eleven. Right, and I can, not I can, not feet, but inches, I, as this, you said. This paper, this paper, right here and now. You can cut a hole. I can cut a hole in here big enough for you to walk through. Now I'm trying to see, because this sounds like one of these party tricks where you end up losing a hundred dollars <laughs> or a drink or something <laughs> like that. You just, <laughs> you know, I, I bet I, you I, I, I can give, cut give me a hundred dollars. This paper, <laughs> give me a hundred dollars. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That does not seem very probable, likely, or feasible. Or real. Right. Okay. So you don't want to put up $100? No, I won't because you're the one asking to do this. <laughs> now, let me just say, like, I got friends. If they're like, I could cut a hole in this piece of paper that you could walk through it, I'd be like, you done lost it. Let's do it. <laughs> but when you do it, I'm just like, I'm not trying to lose my money. <laughs> I'm not trying. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. For that confidence. I'm going to give you yeah. that confidence. Okay. So- and simply because, let me just tell you something about Neil at home that you guys would like to know. So Neil is one of these people who, he don't want to talk about something unless he knows already the answer. <laughs> so don't ever <laughs> fall for his stuff like what he just did there. I can't, because if he says he can do something, he already did it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So here we go. All right. Go ahead okay. now. So th I need a... a pen and scissors to do this all right okay well all right, so here we go all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw a line on this and i'm gonna cut the line all right okay and by doing so i will be creating a hole big enough for you to walk through easily you can pass through i this can hole. pass through it. easily right easily yes or the hole can pass through you no -uh. <laughs> no <Nuh -uh. Not> <laughs> that's not that kind of party okay. Okay. <laughs> all right so here we go mm -hmm. um let me see. I'm going to put a line, mm -hmm. another line, like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take this line, come across like that. Okay. And then take that line, and come down. Okay. okay. You with me? So far, no, I'm not. <laughs> what? I have no idea what you are what? doing right now. <laughs> I'm going to be as honest as I can, okay? <laughs> okay, and now we come around like this. Okay. Okay? That is a hole. That is. Okay. Is this how you get beat up in a bar? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, holes are interesting things. So, for example, if you cut a hole in a net... Right. The net has fewer holes. Exactly. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a whole, it's whole talk. Yeah, it's whole talk. <laughs> Welcome to whole talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start cutting this. All right. So. Okay, there's our. There's the hole. All right, so we pick this up. And here it goes. Look at that. Chuck. You have the honor to walk through, please. I, I can walk through this hole now. Yeah. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> oh! Chuck! Okay, Chuck. Let's see if you can walk through this. I can walk through. Here step we through. Okay, here we go. Let me... We'll step through. There you go! <laughs> oh, my God! What dimension is this? <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so, does it make sense that I can make this arbitrarily large? Right. All I have to do is make the slits as thinner and thinner. Right. There'll be many, many more of them. I can make this large enough to pass the earth through. In principle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I did this uh, when I was a kid. I was into paper when I was a kid. Right. Did a lot of origami. Okay. And you know, there was, there was a big origami company that 
went out of business. Do you know what happened? What? They folded. Oh, oh Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look. Huh? I'm out. I you walk right. No, come back, Chuck. Please come back. Talk about walking through a hole. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Anyhow, that's all I was going to show you. I'm just glad we didn't bet. You know. Yeah, where's my Benjamins? Give me my Benjamins. Well, we did not bet. Just the idea that if I made the strips narrower and narrower, it would make a bigger and bigger and bigger hole. Right. So there's a sort of a dimensionality to that that's sort of hidden. Not hidden, but it's sort of folded onto itself. Right. String theorists speak of how many dimensions in which we're embedded. Right. Ten dimensions, eleven dimensions. But they're sort of wrapped up. Right. And so you can't see it. So a straw... <laughs> is looks like it's just from a distance it's just one dimension just has length you get close no it's got it's got a whole shape two of those dimensions are tightly wrapped onto the one dimension that's most apparent right and so this reminds me of one of those uh little factoids where if you unfolded a cell like it would stretch something like that god no i know what, i know what it you is. know what i'm talking no, about no 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 here it is if you take all the veins, arteries, and capillaries That's out, what it is. out of a human out body, of a human body, and you tied them end and to tied end, them end to end, the person would die. Okay. You never heard that one. No, but that's great. <laughs> so this whole concept of hidden dimensions it yeah. made it into the subtitle of Brian Greene's book. Uh, uh, the elegant, elegant universe. universe, right? Very nice. Uh, hidden dimensions. It's not so much they're hidden; it's just that they're they're not visible to you. They're right. too small. They're too small. So when I think of this hole that we cut in the paper, right? I think of this sort of the dimensionality that's sort of folded up in on itself, and right. then you have to manifest it uh, in order to see it. So uh, it's not an exact analog, but that's what I think of. Yeah, it's, anytime you know, I make make the hole. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing: it will. Uh, you need. A reason to occupy your child. <laughs> Shut them up for a little while. This was perfect. <laughs> what well, worked with you, Chuck? Yeah. I don't know. Is that, that, are you the, Let me tell you something. <laughs> and I am far more simple than your child, most people's children. So, All right. That's about all I have today on uh, Star Talk. Yet another explainer. Yes. Explainer. How to cut a hole in a piece of paper big enough to walk through as Chuck has demonstrated. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Thanks, Chuck. For always a pleasure. Doing it here. As always, keep looking up.